the Peter Kaz the Super Duper Ice Cream. <laughs> we, we watch, watch Hello Okanagan, Okanagan from, from Penticton. Hey everyone, have you seen our new merch? Check this out. You got koozies, coffee mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, whatever you want. Let Brad know. Where do they find Brad and our merch guy? All right, guys, you head over to HelloOkanagan.com and click the link. It'll take you right to our link, and that's where you buy all of the Hello Okanagan merch. Well, it's another busy day here in Penticton for us. I got lots of stuff planned for us, but the one thing I hate is every time we have to go to all these different venues is leaving this scene. I did not know that uh, the views in Penticton were really nice, right where the Okanagan Lake ends or begins uh, for some people in the South Okanagan. Um, really enjoy to be here at Penticton Lakeside Resort. We're here at one of the best adventure parks in Canada, Local Landing in Penticton. We're here with Diana, who's the owner. Thank you for inviting us down here. Oh my gosh, you guys are so much fun. As you can see, <laughs> David is up there like a trapeze artist having some fun with Eric. We were just on a little bouncy, massive bouncy castle, I should Which say. Which we call the Badlands. It's the Badlands? Is yeah, that like one of the largest ones in Canada, you said or something? It is the largest outdoor um, bouncy park in Canada. That's incredible. Yep. And it took adults too, which I love. <laughs> and then we just did the uh, bumper cars. And what else do you guys, yeah, we got so mini golf that we're standing we on? We have an 18 hole mini golf, which we're super proud of because it's so beautiful through yeah. here. We have a high level ropes course, which is amazing and super scary if you're afraid of heights. Yeah. We have water spraying bumper boats, all electric, because we're so green. Monkey motion, rock climbing. There's a full day of fun here for a family. Awesome. And where can they get more information about this park? So we're at locallanding.com and you can find us on social media. And what I'm really excited about is this wonderful lady also owns that famous peach that's right by the beach and an ice cream shop that's called Lickety Splits. Lickety Splits, that's right. And I think you're taking us there? We are, we're gonna try a competition for you there. Bring your sweet tooth and come <laughs> with me. Oh, it's like white boat. Are we back in Vernon? Holy, look at the farmer's hand on me. Mitchell, look at this. The heart rate's like a solid 174. That's high intensity says, party right there. My watch says you're too old for this? Get out of here. My watch is saying you're having heart palpitations. You need to do more exercise. I need another bottle of water. So a big part about the go-karts you were saying is they're actually all electric, right? Yeah, that's right. We're a completely green park here. And so we have electric go-karts and electric bumper boats. And we try to make it as green as possible. So it's almost like a park-like feeling when you walk in here. No doubt, that's amazing. And then you get that, like, you know, you feel good about the activities that you're doing and it's, it's not burning fuel or anything for the environment. So yeah, it's amazing. absolutely, for sure. And our neighbors are really happy about it. I, I bet, I bet, <laughs> especially with the lake right here. So yeah. that's awesome.
Okay guys, so this is the competition. You are going to be making five big kahunas, and that is our freshly baked cookies. And then you choose one of our 48 flavors of ice cream to put in the middle. Put the cookie together like an ice cream sandwich. And then you're gonna roll it in one of six toppings. Then you're gonna stack it on the ledge. And we're gonna see who does it the fastest. The stack has to stay in place. David, are we ice cream baristas now or what's the- No, we are idiots. Ice cream idiots? Yes. Okay. Someone say go. Go. How do I get to it? What's See, you should have just went for mine! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Cookies and cream, you're killing me! It's not about speed, guys. It's about judging the quality at the very end, too, right? Wow. This is called the Peter Kaz Jetson Super Duper Ice Cream. Why did you do that, Peter? Yeah. Mine is still sticking around because I put ice cream between each sandwich. It was my fault. Dude, yours is a leaning tower of pizza. This it's... cookie broke is the issue. Look at these splits. We made our own ice cream sandwich tower or something, but it looks tasty. It's called the Big Kahuna. And you gotta come to look at these splits to try it. Okay. All right, Eric's got one minute to try and eat this entire Big Kahuna, there's five Big Kahunas from Lickety Splits right here in Penticton. He's gonna eat as much of this as he can in 60 seconds. Here we go. Eric, you're at 15 seconds. <laughs> is it only the ice cream or is it gonna have the cookie too? Good I'm job. Going step to step. <laughs> for Hello Okanagan. I love this so much. Keep going. Six, that's 30 seconds, 30 seconds. You have 45 seconds. 15 seconds left. Crush it. <laughs> this is so impressive. <laughs> we try. We try. <laughs> You've still got five seconds left. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now it's time for an Okanagan update with Elizabeth Flowers. Hello Okanagan, I'm Elizabeth Flowers and here's your Okanagan update. It's Family Day at the O'Keefe Ranch next Saturday, August 21st. From 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. along with regularly scheduled activities, Family Day will also include wagon rides provided by the Pioneer Power Club, a bubble table, a goat meet and greet, and photos with Flapjack. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Visit the O'Keeferanch.ca for more information. Do you have a child that loves the arts? Rotary Center for the Arts is having an Arts Blast five-day summer camp for children ages 5 to 12. The camp runs every day from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. and these themed camps feature a wide selection of fun and creative art activities. It's a total Arts Blast experience. Camp camps like these allow your kids to explore the power of imagination while raising self-esteem and confidence. There's still space available for the week of the 16th to the 20th, so make sure to go on to rotarycenterforthearts.com to register. And mark your calendars, August 21st and 22nd, Farmstrong Cider is having their Pickle Festival. There is going to be a pickling contest for all ages, so check out their website for more information on that. For anyone wanting to learn more about growing and pickling, there will be locals there showing informa sharing information um, with free info sessions on both Saturday and Sunday in the Pear Orchard. They're gonna have some amazing local artisans from noon till 4.30 each day in the market space as well. For more information, you can visit their events page at farmstrongcider.com slash events. This event runs Saturday and Sunday, August 21st and 22nd. That's all for this week's Okanagan update. Be sure to check out Castanet's events page for a more detailed listing of what's happening around you. And now we'll go back to the episode.
one of the places you've got to try when you come to downtown Penticton at the beach is the peach. So let's go here. The famous peach. Wow. Okay, this is not foam. This is not plastic. This is not a fake facade thing. This literally is a piece of cake. It's real. Mmm. It's really good for bruises also. So we came. We drove. The very poor choice of words. I went with your face like that, dude. <laughs> this is how you end off your day in the Okanagan. Oh, that's a really good cake. It is. Quick, S.S. Sycamuse. Was it a ferry that was taking people from the North Okanagan to the lake to the South Okanagan Lake? Transport and cargo ship. There was no, you know, there wasn't the roads that we have now. Uh, the rail was not reliable, so it was the main form of transport up and down the valley. Wow. So every day it went from Penticton to Okanagan Landing, stopped at about 10 places all along the way, and then, and then came back. Was this like a commute for people too, or was it just well, mainly for, like you said, for cargo and cargo for longer trips. And, and, you know, if they were going up the valley to visit friends or whatever, okay. you know, it, it wouldn't be like... So a form of transport, but it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to go commute to Kelowna for work or no. something. No. Okay. What would it have cost for a passenger to come up here? What would it have cost back then? Uh, oh, what would it have cost? Oh, that's a good question. I think the full dinner, like the CPR dinner, the oh, fancy wow. dinner up in the salon was like a dollar twenty-five or something. Per person? Uh, yeah. Inflationary times, we're talking what now? Like, oh, it was probably 65? 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 bucks. 50 yeah. Because you got dinner and a ride <laughs> well, no, for 50 ride bucks. Was, the ride was more. That actually happened here? Well, in the 50s, when they, when they brought it here, it was brought by, as a clubhouse for the Gyro Club. Oh, okay. And they ran it, and they used it and did events on it, and rented it for weddings. I saw all their uh, all photos sort of on the way up. Yeah, there. yeah. So, the tugboat in Aramata was also built and completed and launched in uh, 1914, one month before this ship. Can anyone hear me? Hello! I, I think people were just like we just... really small in the 1930s. Like, they were all really, really like you guys. No, but like, like smaller. Mitchell would have been a big dude. Mitchell was, would have been a huge, huge dude. dude like, then. Eric and I would have been like above average male. We're at Hoodoo Adventures here in Penticton. The owner told us we gotta come down and check it out. David, did you realize these guys do kayak wine and cheese tours? They do biking to brewery tours. I think they got a climbing wall in here, so let's go check it out. Sounds good, let's head in there. This wasn't meant to be climbed.
Hey guys, do you like prizes? Do you want to see behind the scenes? Do you want to see the crazy TikToks and Instagram reels that we do? Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Where do they go? All right, guys, it's Hello Okanagan on Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok as well. Head on over, you will see all of the good stuff. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. We do lots and lots of content, and that helps us continue to keep producing more. Thank you so much for watching, Hello Okanaganers. We really appreciate the support. Subscribe.